What's up, guys? It's your boy, Jay. Welcome to Jay's World. So let's talk, y'all. Let's talk. You know how we do it. Oh, you know. You know how we do it. So let's get into it and welcome to another edition of Jay Topics. Y'all, I got a question. Tyler Perry and Alfonso Ribeiro. Tyler Perry and Alfonso Ribeiro. Two, in my opinion, two of the most unlikely characters to ever have a beef. I, I'm just confused. I don't, as, you know what? This whole little thing, okay, so wait, before I even get into it, let me let you, let me get, let you guys know what happened. I believe this happened like last week on X, okay, you know, AKA Twitter. Apparently this was on Alfonso Ribeiro's uh, Twitter feed or something. You know, he has his fans going over there. And I believe someone said, no, someone did say under, uh, I guess under one of his postings, hey, you know what? And I'm kind of paraphrasing guys, so please don't kill me down in the, front, in, the uh, in the comment section. But they were basically saying that, you know, uh, Tyler Perry could help Alfonso Ribeiro revamp his acting career. And Alfonso Ribeiro clapped back saying this. And I'm just going to read it from my phone, y'all. Okay, now I am going to read this verbatim. Um, he says, I don't need or ever want that man to do anything for me. Um, yeah. That's a little confusing for me. Because again, like I said, I didn't even know that they even knew each other. Or that or that they had, those two had ever even crossed paths. But apparently they have. Y'all, I did not know that back in the day, um, Tyler Perry actually had Alfonso, I, I believe, to direct a couple of his episodes. It was Meet the Browns or one of those shows or whatever, you know. So apparently they have. They've actually worked together. And uh, yeah, so th this whole little clapback just kind of sparked a firestorm. And people are just curious. People are chomping at the bit. And people really want to know exactly what happened what happened between tyler perry and alfonso ribeiro i'm I, i'm literally i'm literally confused now i'll be honest y'all look y'all know how i am about tyler perry on, on jay's world tv i've made quite a few videos you know dragging tyler you know but dragging tyler with love <laughs> with love you know y'all look Y'all know how I feel about Tyler Perry and those damn movies with them trash ass wigs and those bad script and the non writing and the, and the bad lighting and the, just the sloppiness and triflingness of all of his movies and TV shows. That's just the way I feel. But I kind of feel some kind of way about this particular situation because I'll be honest, black people, we don't fuck with Alfonso Rivero. We do not fuck with Alfonso Ribeiro at all. As a matter of fact, I did a video, I think it was the last year or so, or maybe a couple years ago, about Alfonso Ribeiro. Uh, uh, do you guys remember when he said um, that uh, he quoted, I, I believe it was in People Magazine or something, where he felt that the, the black community was angry at him because he married a white woman and he can marry who he wants to marry. And I remember saying in that video then, and I'll say it again, Alfonso, we really don't give a fuck. Like, we literally are not checking for you like that. Not only are we not checking for you like that, Alfonso, it's sort of been an, a common unspoken thing between Alfonso Ribeiro and the black community. Y'all know it was just kind of one of those things where you don't see it for us and you don't fuck with us and we don't fuck with you, you know? Because, I mean, we all love the Carlton and everything, but we all know that Alfonso Ribeiro pretty much caters to a <laughs> a white audience, to say, you know, it, it just is what it is, guys. And yes, we do talk about race over here on Jay's World TV, so all of my white Jay watchers, y'all don't get all squeamish on me now. We talk about race over here in a fair and balanced way, but that's just kind of pretty much been the unspoken thing between the black community and Alfonso Ribeiro. We just don't give a fuck because we ain't checking for you like that. And that's just been kind of understood. 
So yeah, so I kind of felt a little ways about that. Because even though, yes, I do drag Tyler Perry sometimes, and yes, I give Tyler Perry a hard time on some of the things that he does. But at the end of the day, Tyler Perry is a black man that does love black people. He does believe in his community. He does invest in his community. And yes, I mean, in, in, and he gives, he does give some opportunities, some opportunities. And, and, and I'll, I'll make a different video on that thing. So yeah, but, and I don't know, I just felt, I, I don't know, I just felt kind of, I, I didn't like that. That he kind of dogged Tyler Perry out because yeah I know I know Tyler Perry get on my damn nerves but Tyler Perry loves black people and you ain't gonna be fucking with Tyler not on my watch you not yes this is the first time <laughs> yeah. this is the first time in history I'm actually defending Tyler Perry but yeah y'all I just felt some kind of way about that and then I'm like oh my god y'all we are never gonna know what this beef is about we're never gonna know what this beef is about. Because y'all know Tyler Perry does not respond. And I will give him that much. I will give Tyler Perry credit for this. He literally does not respond, for the most part, to negative things being said about him. And he gives it no energy. He gives it zero energy. So I do give him props for that. So we know the likelihood of Tyler Perry responding to this will probably be zero to none. And we know Alfonso Rivera other than that statement, he's not gonna talk about it. He, he's not gonna say anything about it because again, he don't fuck with black people, so he's never gonna tell us. So y'all, we're never ever gonna know what this beef was really about. The only thing we can do is just guesstimate y'all. That's all we can do. Neither side is gonna talk about it. So I'm just curious, y'all, and let's have a conversation down, in, down below because I would love to know your take on this. What do you think happened, you know? Do you think it was more of a creative thing, a creative difference when they worked together? Maybe he didn't like uh, the way Tyler Perry ran his business or or maybe Mike, Tyler Perry was probably micromanaging him while he was directing one of his episodes. Yeah, it literally could be anything. I don't know. So what do you guys think? Let's talk about it down below. All right, guys, that's it. That's all I got. Um, please don't forget to rate, comment, and do what? subscribe y'all please subscribe to my channel and after you subscribe please don't forget to head on over to instagram and check me out at jaysworld.tv that's j-a-i-s-w-o-r-l-d.tv on instagram and i'll holler to you later peace